Well, first of all, Linford, welcome back to Swindon. Thank you very much. It's great to see you. Uh, hopefully the weather's a little bit better than it was last time. Oh, definitely. Uh, <laughs> at least it's not, it's not raining. Last time it was, you know, torrential rain, but the kids still turned out. So we're hoping it's going to be a bit dry. So, you know, fingers Well, you're, you're the inspiration behind Street Athletics. Tell us a little bit more about what you aim to achieve from today's event. Well, I mean, what we aim to achieve from today's event is just to try and get the kids to come out and to engage them through sport. That's all it is, really. I mean, we've got the Olympics coming up and everything else, and we're hoping that it will inspire the kids or the kids will be inspired and they'll come out and have a little run, feel like they're the next the same Bolt or whoever. <laughs> now, your objective really is to break down the barriers that might normally apply to youngsters getting involved, hence just doing it straight on the streets, making it nice and easy for them. Well, definitely. I mean, also, this is how I started out in athletics. I used to race the kids up and down the street, very similar to this, or we used to run around the block. And I looked at it, or we looked at it and decided, look where we got to. So if we can give that opportunity to some of the kids and they can race up and down the street, it may inspire them to one day become an Olympian. So maybe your records could be broken in the future by kids here in Swindon? Oh, definitely. I'm hoping that my <laughs> records could be broken. If it's been broken, then that means the sport has progressed. If it hasn't, then I mean, it means that we're stagnant. It's been proven that kids who take part in sport, they're healthier, they learn more, you know, they better be able because of the discipline sport gives. And we're not saying that they have to do athletics. The essence of all sport is speed. So they can go out there and they, you know, this will help them to whether they want to play football or do something else. I mean, there's so many, there's a huge variety of sport out there waiting for the youngsters to jump in and take part. And this is what we're trying to give them that start. And the main thing is that it's an equaliser, isn't it? Regardless of your background, regardless of where you live, how you live, everyone's got the same opportunity. Everyone's got the same opportunity. And the wasted opportunity never comes again. So jump, grab it with both hands and if you're good, you're good. If you're not good, then you know I'm sure there's something in our sport that will suit you. Linford, thank you very much indeed for talking to us and I hope you have a great day today in Swindon. Thank you, dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's give it dry. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thank Thanks. Okay, we're with the uh, guys from St. Joseph's School. They're all 14, 15. You live in the streets around here. Yeah. Quickly, what are your names? Mark. Alroy. Alicia. Alistair. Alfred. And who's going to win out of you guys? Yeah. Just Mark. So is it worth even running the race if you know he's going to win? Yeah, I don't mind. You I'm don't just mind. doing it for fun. You're just doing it for fun. And you've yeah. got your t-shirts already. What was yeah. it like meeting Linford Christie? Uh, epic. Epic? Epic. Good word. An amazing experience I'm not going to forget. And what about that photo of you all on the starting blocks? That was pretty cool, right? Yeah. So uh, you're going to have that picture framed up on your wall at home? Shit, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, Doug Ingrey, you're the man who's actually brought the event to Swindon. First of all, congratulations for getting Linford back. Yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, it's a shame we couldn't get Darren as well, but um, yeah, getting one Olympic gold medalist is obviously yeah, very good. Now, why was um, Swindon being able to secure them back again? Um, one of the main reasons really was the local community. Uh, they funded half of the event. Um, we've managed to get uh, external funding as well. Uh, Tyco and Tesco have both put in a little bit. So literally a big community effort has helped us get the funding to, to bring it back um, for 2012. Now obviously a very important year being the Olympic year. I think, don't think anyone could escape that. No. What effect do you think this will have on the sporting viewpoints of people in, of Swindon? Uh, I think it's going to have a massive impact. It's, it's one of many events going on at the moment, obviously with the Olympic buzz going on. Um, it's kind of started with the Olympic torch. Uh, coming to Swindon with Didier Drogba in the town centre and, and all the runners that ran with it, so that's brilliant. Well, it's a great event. I know everyone's very excited. Despite the weather, yeah, they're going to have a great <laughs> afternoon and I hope it's a huge success for you. Thank you very Thanks much. Very much. Thanks.